Now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, it's a rising temp tonight. We cloud up. Fuel spotty showers later tonight. So these numbers on the rise, segueing to a warm day tomorrow. It's a 75 degree high, gusts 25 to 35. So breezy to windy day. And after a couple showers in the morning, all the clouds, we see partly cloudy skies in the afternoon, but certainly more clouds in the north than in the central and southern parts of the viewing area. Now remember the record's 80 set in 2020, so we're not going to break the record, but down here towards Vetersburg, Kingman, Waveland, that area would be uh, the closest to tying a record or breaking a record high tomorrow. 73 at Monticello, the high tomorrow. 72 Rensselaer, about 73 at Remington, mid 70s Flora, and there's that 77 at Williamsport and Attica. Now, some scattered showers tomorrow night and into uh, early, early Thursday uh, with a low around 50. And then Thursday itself, 58 for the high skies clear, a touch breezy at times in the afternoon, but really not a bad day. 58 at Williamsport, about 58 at uh, Crawfordsville, 56 Flora, and Royal Center, about 53 for the high. Now, watch future cast. Here comes the warm front in tonight. Clouds increasing, a few spotty showers. This is 4 o'clock in the morning, and there is around 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. You can see a few of the spotty showers around, and then that moves on as the warm front moves northward. And you can see at 2 30, more clouds in the north than the south, but generally we'll call it a partly cloudy day tomorrow. And then we cloud up tomorrow evening. This is 5 30, still dry, but after 5 30 and 6, the showers, the scattering of showers comes in and we'll see it maybe an isolated thunder shower, but certainly no severe weather, nothing like that. This is 1030 tomorrow night, then eventually any spotty showers exit early, early on Thursday morning, but you can still see some low clouds lingering before they rapidly break up and pull out of here mid to late morning on Thursday. Then the afternoon is fine. But watch the high and the mid level clouds increasing. So these clouds will prevent us from getting overly chilly uh, Thursday night, early Friday morning. With this cloud bank, our temperatures will tend to be held in the upper 30s to low 40s rather than tanking to like around 30 degrees. And this is the, the northern edge of some really heavy rain down in the southern U.S. But that stays away from us. Even those clouds get out of here on Friday. Friday's a nice day. The weekend looks good. And really the next decent shot of any rainfall would be late next week. Some showers come in Thursday into Friday, and then eventually this big storm barrels eastward. This could be one of two storms that bring rain, wind, some storms near record warmth of highs near 70, 72 degrees. And we'll watch it because one of these big storms is going to bring a lot of severe weather from Oklahoma and Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Alabama and Tennessee. This zone here, uh, closer to Thanksgiving, probably some tornadoes. We may end up with the risk of an isolated severe storm closer to Thanksgiving and heavier rainfall as well. Then it gets sharply colder. All right, it's a 55 on Friday. 53 Saturday for Veterans Day looks good after the morning frost and freeze. 56 Sunday, 61 on Monday. Then we stay in the 60s next week with some showers by later on next week.